All right. Welcome to another session of Digital School. Uh, I am very glad to have you here. Uh, we are about to start this session, today's session. So kindly call on your friends, share the links, share the links with your colleagues and let them join so that we can start quickly. Today's session, we are looking at how to start a blogging business that makes money. Let me add that part. How to start a blogging business that makes money. So do all to share the link. Let me also share the link. Let me inform all the others in the group that we are live now. If you are here, let me know if you can hear and see me clearly. So in the comment section, type, I can hear and see you. I can hear and see you as I share the links with others. I can hear and see you. Type that in the comment section so that I know that you can hear me as I share the link with others. Uh, Facebook group. Let me see. If you can hear me, okay. Someone's all right, all right. So that's good to know. Let me kindly post the link in the Facebook group, then we can start. So those who can hear and see me. Let me know where you are joining us from. Where are you joining us from? Today, as I said, we are learning how to start a blogging business that makes money. So there are a lot of blogs out there. A lot of people create blogs regularly, but not every one of those blogs actually makes money. So today we are going to dissect the path to creating a blog that makes money. And I have with me an expert in the blogging business, someone who is actually practicalizing his knowledge, the knowledge that he's going to share with you today. So if, if you are here, let me know where you are joining us from. If you are here, you can see and hear me. Let me know where you are joining us from as we share the links and start soon. We want to give others like two or three minutes to join so that we can start from there. Okay, so Justin joining from Tema. Welcome, Justin. Bookroom Estate from Kumase Hamilton. Okay, you are also welcome. The others, let us know. Let us know where you are joining us from as we begin today's session. How to start a blogging business that makes money. Not any blogging business at all, but one that makes money. And as I was saying, I have with me an expert, a very good friend of mine, and he has been doing this job for a while. And in fact, everything that he's going to share with you today, he is a practitioner of the knowledge he's going to share with you. So he's not just anybody at all who will just come and say things that they do not do. He has been practicing it for a while and he knows what works and what does not work. Rhoda from Tamale, uh, Ernest from Amansa Mine. All right, you're all welcome. And we are going to start the session soon. I hope that if, if this is your first time joining the digital school, you're highly welcome. And digital school is a weekly session brought to you by I create Ghana Company Limited and also powered by the I create community, a community where we are growing digital nomads. So when they say digital nomads, we refer to anyone at all who is making money from various digital schools. So I create community is basically a community where we are training up individuals to earn money from various digital schools. So if this is your first time joining us, you are highly welcome to be part of the iCrate community. We have a group on Facebook, so you can find us on Facebook, iCrate community. Search for iCrate community with Dr. Ewanya Obe. I know if you search for iCrate community, you will find it. And you can 
request to join a group and I will humbly accept you into the group so that you also learn to become a digital nomad. Without wasting much time, let me bring on board Christopher Sam of Hyper City. Okay. All right. So those of you joining us later, you can also let us know where you are joining us from. If you want to get from the let us know where you are joining us from. Hello, please. Welcome to today's session of the Digital School. I hope you can hear me, Chris. Yes, I can hear you. All right, that's good, that's good. So we are going to start today's session. What is going to be is, is we are going to have some form of a conversation. Oh, and okay. uh, in that kind of conversation, I will also be asking a number of questions based on some questions that I've gotten people asking me over time. So that okay. by the end by the end of today's session, I hope that every participant here would be well informed about how to go about to start their own blogging business. And in fact, I keep saying that's not just any blogging business at all, but a blogging business that makes money. And I hope that our discussion from here or this session will be very fruitful enough for our audience to benefit and also start making money from the skill of blogging. So thank you for honoring our invitation to be part of the digital school session today. Thank you also for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, highly welcome. All right, so then uh, to our audience, this is Christopher Sam of Hyper City GH. I, my guess is that a number of you have heard of Hyper City GH before. Uh, currently, hypercitygh.com is the number one campus news blog in Ghana. So in fact, if I want to talk about any website or a blog out there where they talk about campus news, they cover various campuses, uh, university, senior high school, nursing, all the various campuses on Ghana, a website or a blog that covers these news, the Hypercity is number one. And even before we start, the reason why I like to engage Chris on some of these things is when I do my research, wanting to know how these blogs are very powerful here in Ghana, I find out that Chris's website or blog, which is HyperCityGH, is one at the top. It ranks higher with even what, uh, most of the big websites in Ghana that you can even think of. So. We do not have any other person but an expert or a specialist, if I should say, who is able to dissect this uh, conversation very well for us. So let's let's begin, please. Um, so let's assume that my audience right now, the people who have joined us right now, if somebody does not know anything about blogging at all, if they are hearing it for the first time, and you want to understand what blogging is in in your own way what what is blogging or how how will you explain to someone who is hearing this for the first time for them to appreciate what blogging actually is okay so thank you for your nice introduction i mean and the praises how i was it actually i really appreciate so uh, to my audience out there who want to learn about blogging and they want to make some coins out of blogging so blogging is basically about writing content for a particular audience let's say the audience here we are, we are looking at a defined audience meaning nh so let's say i'm i'm into relationship and marriage i want to write about these articles i have to look out for Article that will suit my audience, either in the form of advice, either in the form of like coaching them, or in the form of guidance. So, blogging is basically writing content for your audience. And out of uh, writing this content, we seek also to make revenue. That's where we now uh, rely on some of the ad networks, or we partner with some of the ad networks. And sometimes we also partner with 
let's say other freelancers or like other content submissions then once you publish the content for them then they can dash you something so i think basically that's blogging from my own perspective all right thank you so much and just a word to the audience who are here uh, i'm going to be uh, doing my best to drive the conversation in a way that will bring you so much value however i may not be able to cover everything that you have or every question that you have so my advice to you right now is that if you have any questions about blogging or any of the things that we make mention of in this particular session i i will encourage you to put it in the comment section so whatever question that you have, drop the questions in the comment section and with time we will pick those questions up and answer them accordingly. All right, so Chris, thank you for the explanation of what blogging is. So basically what I have also come to realize is that anytime you go online, and this is actually very common nowadays, that we are all uh, going online and searching for ways to make money online. So back back in which year was that 2018? But prior to 2018, I knew what blogging was actually. I uh, had actually started blogging along the line. But in 2018, I needed money. I needed money, and because of that, I went online looking for a way where I can make money online. And one thing that I realized, I tried almost all the ways that came up, but I realized that the most legitimate way that they were recommending was blogging. And it ran through almost every platform where search content was. So if you read any website at all, because I, I knew I was going to talk about this thing today, yesterday I actually did a similar search where I went online and searched for how to make money online 2021. And you realize that whatever recommendation that these articles bring up, they always make mention of blogging. Meaning blogging is a constant element when it comes to making money online. And you have explained it that it's basically rewriting content for a specific audience. All right, so now let's let's proceed. I, I am new to blogging. You've explained to me that I need to be writing content and putting it, obviously I'm putting the content on the internet and I'm going to be able to make money out of it. So we want to take it step by step before we finally get to how I can even make money from creating my own content. So if I want to start right now, I've made up my mind right now that I want to start blogging. What is my next step from watching you this evening after this evening session? What next should I do in order to start my own blog? Okay, thank you for this question. So, uh, on the internet, when you search about how to make, I mean, legitimate uh, money online, you see, I think, 90% of the search queries talking about writing online blogging blah 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 so the first thing is one you need a website you need a website then once you've gotten the website and the 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 the, the interesting the interesting thing is that now with the help of wordpress you can just get a very simple website using a, a free team and i'm sure right from here you can just search on youtube how to design a WordPress site, and it's it's very easy to go about that. Once you get to the website, then now you ask your you ask yourself, what can I write to educate people, to get people out of their boredom, to get people I mean happy about life, I mean to entertain them about certain things or to get them informed. So now that's where your niche comes to play. Me and my other co-founders, AB and Ernest we decided on campus so that is where we are solely into we do campus news and a little bit of like national issues so maybe if you are into entertainment you can also oh, i want to, an entertainment website but this will, will focus basically on marriages and lifestyle and another person can say oh since i'm into this mobile phone business i want a blog which will focus on tech update about new release of maybe iPhone, Samsung, Techno, Infinix, or any other phone. So now, you first need a website, you find a niche, 
then now you you now start writing writing content online is very easy but sometimes it becomes frustrating when you don't know the right tools to engage okay. one of the tools to engage is uh, answer the public uh, with answer the public you can just key in any word the ones that keyword is being queued into the, the answer the public platform then they will give you a list of a list of related search search uh, search questions which you can write articles from it so for instance somebody can search about how to make money from whatsapp status the person can start writing an article about that there is a legitimate way of earning money through whatsapp status it can be that yeah <laughs> you have a lot of what we call status viewers so you want to uh, advertise purpose product for them so you can just write an article about it and give them maybe from this range to this particular range when when i get a number of viewers i will charge this i will charge that out there and one thing i also realized that uh, i think last week and this week mtn is advertised it's running an ad on their broadband uh, package so it's also another way of writing a very good content to catch the attention of your audience and also the general public. So it's just simple. One, you need a website with a very nice design. Then two, you need content. Content that will at least inform your community. And once the website is set up, you, you have to see the website as a forum or a community where you engage people on matters arising in the society or even in the country. And with that one, we, you need some tools which will guide you to provide various relevant information. And now, with a writing of articles, the traditional way of just writing articles has now changed over time due to Google's algorithm update. Right now, the focus is now on questions and answers related articles. So somebody can, can just ask, uh, how did Sonibadu get got his four degrees? Somebody can just search on the internet. This person is looking for a way to answer it. Or somebody can just search on the internet. Hey, how is Prince? Hey, how is Prince funeral going? Blah 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 blah. And these are uh, these are very good keywords opportunity. Once you just tap into it, then just write an article article about it. Google will just give you a very nice feature snippet. And Trust me, once you get a feature snippet or once Google features you on top page of a keyword, you, you earn a very substantial amount of traffic. And once you start earning traffic and your community sees that you are providing a very good content, then you really gain the trust of the people. Then you can also think about monetizing your content and earning some money from your content. So I think basically that's some of the steps. Uh, I know that it really worked in the system. Wow, thank, thank you for what you are giving us. And to the audience, I, this is the point in time where I think you should get a notebook, get your notebook and probably a pen that you'll be documenting some of the things that are coming up because I realized he's dropping a few nuggets that you need to be aware of to start on a good note. So I have my notepad here and I'm writing some of them. Chris is someone I engage very often. Uh, if, if you know us, you know almost every two days or something of that sort, we talk about blogging most of the time. Okay, so I learn a lot from him and even every opportunity I get to discuss with him, I still make room to learn more. So if, if you are here this evening, do all well to get your pen and your notepad to document things. But I won't let him go just like that. We have to dissect certain things that came up when he was talking about how to get started. So let me just summarize everything that he said. He says, we need a website. And obviously, you can be on the internet and say you are blogging when you don't have a website. So uh, that is a point well noted. But some people have also the notion that you can do blogging on the social media platforms. So for instance, I, I ever saw a post where someone was asking that how do I make money from my blog? And on engaging the person, I realized that it was a Facebook page. 
where he was putting content constantly, that he was calling a blog. However, Chris made mention of the fact that you need a website. So meaning that is not necessarily the kind of blogging that he is referring to. So it's not about you having a Facebook page, but rather owning a website. And when you hear owning a website, it may seem so strange. But he mentioned that right from here, you can just go to YouTube. You are, you are watching us live on YouTube. So right after this session, you can check other videos on YouTube where you learn how to build a website. Building a website on WordPress can be very easy, but it depends. You don't have to learn all the technical details in order to even start. We are going to talk about that soon, but I am just adding on. I also build websites. I know a lot about WordPress as well, so I can admonish you that building a website with WordPress is very easy. Then the reason why there are a lot of other platforms that you can use to build websites, and in subsequent uh, sessions of digital school, as some of you have already requested, we are going to look at how to build your own website. But just to buttress Chris's point, when it comes to blogging, because you create a lot of content regularly, WordPress is the number one recommendation. So if you want to blog, even though all the other platforms are there, the easiest way or the most efficient platform to use is WordPress. Okay, so um, when, when you want to start off, it's best you go and get started with WordPress. And it doesn't have to cost you so much. He mentioned that you can get a free theme. So once you start learning about WordPress and how to use it to build a website, you learn about what is called a, a theme. So basically a theme is like a website that someone has designed for you. So you are just going to pick it and edit to make it your own, okay? And since there are free ones available, you can easily get started with it. The second point he talked about was choosing a niche. So he mentioned that he and his team chose campus news or they cover campus issues. And you can choose any niche at all. I think we should talk about uh, niches right here, Chris. And uh, when it comes to niches, is it every niche at all that people can make money from it? From your experience, is it every niche at all that people can make money from? No. Not all the niches. I think currently in Ghana, one of the niches which generates a lot of revenue is entertainment. Okay. Yes. Uh, the reason being that is entertainment deals with trending and like life updates. So let's let me just use this opportunity to give a little update about what happened yesterday on one of the actress who was jailed, I think, three months or... Oh, okay, so. okay. So, for instance, if, if I was supposed to be an entertainment blogger, I would have, by now, written an, an extensive article about how the whole issue started. The whole issue just started with the, the actress taking a photo with the son, which some people see to be a nude photo. Then, after that photo, People now went social media and were now lashing this lady. Then after some time, and after some time that the court declared a verdict, these same people, they came out and they were supporting the actress. So if I was supposed to be an Italian blogger, I could have just written an extensive article about what happened. And an article like this, you get a lot of readers because uh the, the issue is still trending and it's still in the system so people are not searching for those kind of articles another another um, niche which also sells is education education related content every now and then people are searching about KNST hostels KNST admission portal KNST student portal university of Ghana admission this is the admission, this is distance education. So it's like education, entertainment, then travel and tour. Once you have a website on travel, then you write about Dubai, write about traveling outside, document needed for traveling outside. You really make a very good amount of money. But there's one thing I've also realized. It looks like 
every blogger wants he or she comes he wants to enter into the team because they've seen that that's where they can really get a very substantial amount of traffic but it shouldn't be so you can look at yourself what you can write somebody a, a friend of mine told me that he's, he's about to, uh, to start a real estate blog and i know it's really going to sell to those in the diaspora because they are interested in investing in buildings mansions in africa mm -hmm. So you have to look at what you can write and not what like people will be interested at. Once you know what you can write, over time, people will now build trust in your content. And once you, they build trust in your content, even when you put, I mean, very thin content, thin content is like, let's say, a 500 words, when you put it there, people will rush, in, rush into it because you've already built the brand. And once you have a very solid brand, even when you just write two, two lines, <laughs> people are, are happy to do because they know at least once they follow the link, they're going to see something. So I think with a niche, you can just sit down and say, oh, maybe I want to create a, a gospel entertainment website, which is solely for mm -hmm. gospel news. So and news concerning gospel artists, news concerning pastors, news concerning like sermons, news explaining some of like the hidden stuff in the bible and that one it, it also really sells because for instance when the COVID came there are a lot of uh, contradictions and conspiracy theories about the whole COVID and some prophecies which has been said if we are into this gospel a uh, related blog you can create an article about it linking it to various pages in the bible and i saw one video on youtube where somebody was trying to link it with some prophecies there were when I think in a day the person had almost uh, a million views. So one creating a getting a very good niche is very very essential. Once you've gotten the niche, then now you know all your strength using various online tools to get very good content. For instance, over the over the years, I've realized that uh, almost all the food bloggers in Ghana they only exist on instagram i'm sorry if maybe you're a food blogger and you think maybe i'm being what i'm sorry but i think they only exist on instagram and just few of them who have who who have a website and those who those who even have websites they don't regularly post articles so this is also a very good niche of which once you tap into it and with consistency and punctuality you can really make and you can really build a very good brand. Then once you get a brand, then you can focus on monetizing some of your content. For instance, if I want to start a blog, I mean a new blog, I'll consider going to a blog about selling of laptops or phones. Yes, blog about these iPhones, their new release, some of the, the iPhone tweaks about jailbreaking, updating your iOS. These are stuff that people are really interested now. So once you write about it, the Google will try to create various questions for some of your, your content. So somebody can be like, oh, how to update my iPhone Pro? How to update my iPhone so and so? How to, how to sign into an iPhone email? How to uh, block someone on uh, WhatsApp with my iPhone? So these are, uh, these are various good niches that one can tap into it. There's, a, there's also another niche which has been missing in our country. I haven't seen a lot of websites. I mean, right now, but it's about, I think, insurance. I haven't seen a financial, let's say, a financial website in Ghana, which always talks about, let's say, income, investment, tax, a, like, like, main, like making money, entrepreneurship related stuff. I haven't seen a website like this, like, like those. So, for instance, when the COVID came up and the government introduced, uh, various tax-free measures and then later on the government came then they said no those related taxes were just to reduce the burden of COVID-19 see this it became a public a, a, a public issue so if you really run something like a financial related website you can start writing an article on that and once you write an article on that you start earn a very good amount of money and one I think lastly a website website about fashion in ghana most of the the fashion bloggers they do exist on instagram and facebook sorry so i think once you are 
very very good with fashion that very good fashion sense you can start blogging on that going to music i want advice because the music arena is already choked there's a lot of websites who are already in the music arena so if you start writing for music related stuff you might be disappointed yes because google has already gotten a very huge amount of websites writing news articles writing about lyrics of maybe songs writing about videos writing about like a what they call take away from some of the videos so if you start writing google is not giving you a very good position you might give up so going to music is never advised by going to something like hostels but you want, want a blog for hostel you can start right now it's a very good niche of which can earn you a very good amount of money if you really get i mean uh, the credible information so i think getting the very good niche is very paramount to the success of every blog if you don't take it and you end up with a very i mean wrong niche you may end up suffering to earn money so you have to make sure you've gotten a very good niche of which you can write. And sometimes it's not about you write, you personally write some articles. There are a lot of bloggers out there. We have food bloggers, entertainment bloggers, lifestyle, sports blog, sports people. You can just hire some people if only you have the, the money and the capacity to just take it up. You can just hire them and give them some articles, then they write articles and other content for you there's another niche which has also been left alone which is i think campus sports i haven't seen any website talking solely about campus sports except a universe newsroom the university of ghana a, their campus media house except that i haven't seen any other website talking solely about campus sports i think there should be a website to talk about campus sports because every year we produce I mean, intellectuals, of which some people are, are only, always into athletics and other games. So I think we can also narrow our strength there. But to finish, all these niches, some earn you a very good amount of money, some don't. Those who earn a very good amount of money are one, entertainment, then lifestyle, then trending news, then education. Then you can also focus on let's say food food related stuff but at least for the food bloggers that i've known they are mostly hired by most of these big media companies to come and do ads for them so that's also another way of like earning money thank you very much and i hope uh, everybody has now understood what the niche is about now sorry this this kind of information is some sort of information that people are supposed to be paying money for if, if you are you are right here on this live i bet you like this kind of information is what you pay for when you go and meet the blogging consultant yeah. so if you ever want to start blogging you are looking for a consultant to give you ideas on what to do chris has done justice to it right yeah. here yeah. and he could have put a price on this for you to come and pay before he gives you these ideas all right i, I wouldn't want to waste much time Chris, I heard you say uh, you should write about something that you are interested in. Okay, so one one genuine concern that we have is if if that is the case, then I expect that I have to be an expert at a particular thing to write in it. So, for instance, with the various niches that you have suggested. If I am not an expert in it, it means I cannot write something of that sort, all right? Because you said I should look at what I can write. Is there a case where even though I can't, I've, I've not really sat down, like I don't have that expertise, I'm not an expert, I don't consider myself an expert, but I, I still want to start blogging and maybe from a particular niche that you've mentioned, let's say food. I, I don't know so much about food, and if I want to start a food blog, how do I then go about it? Does it mean I can't get into a particular niche like that? Okay, so thank you very much. I think um, over the years, since I started, since I entered into digital marketing or blogging, there's one quote that has been running through my head. 
uh, I always tell myself that you can't run you can't run business on common sense, and that is one thing that I always put at the back of my head. The reason is that yes, you can't write, but at least you should make a conscious effort to try and read other blogs, either in Nigeria, other continents, how their content are being structured. And as I said earlier, if you think you can't write, but you have the capacity, I mean, you have the revenue to hire somebody to come on board, to come and coach you as to how you can write. Because there are other, there are other content coaches, people who coach you on how to write content. So they just give you topic, then they just tell you, oh, write on this particular topic. Once you write, just send it to me through Google Docs. I'll go through it. I'll correct the mistakes, then resend it back to you. Then I'll give you certain things you're supposed to do, certain things you're not supposed to do. That is one, one aspect. Or uh, it is simple. With the help of YouTube, at least by the grace of God, the help of YouTube, you can learn anything with just, I mean, uh, 500 megabytes. You can learn how to write uh, maybe food articles. And what you are about to write, somebody has already written it on the internet. It's all about you adding up information to make sure that what you have is different from what is already on the internet. I read one article by Google and they were like, they were saying that if they find out that the article that you have on a website is the same as what your competitor also has it on, on his or her website, it's either they show your, computer, uh, your competitors on first and they block you on from showing in search engine or they show yours due to the, the, the authority your website has before your competitors own. So now, anything you want to write on the internet is already available. The last time I was trying to write an article on uh, this MTM broadband, <laughs> I was shocked to know that somebody has already written an article uh, a month ago, which was related to it, whatever I needed, it was related to so What I needed was, I needed to give an introduction I wanted to give an, a, a full detail about how they can even use the MT, my MTN app to subscribe to the broadband and some of the areas which the broadband services is available. So once I did that, later on in the day, I said for that particular article, and Google has already featured me on one particular question, wow. of which I wow. captured it in my article. So most of the information already exists on the internet. Let's see how to make money from WhatsApp. This article is already exists on the internet. What you know have to do is, how can I improve upon what is already there? It's like in the form of, let's say, a research. Somebody has already written on, let's say, impact of COVID-19 on, on Ghanaian financial institutions. This person narrated it on, let's say, local banks, let's say, rural banks. Now, you want, you want to focus on, let's say, the bigger banks. So once you write on the bigger banks, Google will say, oh, this guy is talking about the impact of COVID-19 on let's say APSA or Access Bank or let's say GT Bank or, or like GCB. So then Google now creates questions on let's say impact of COVID-19 on APSA Bank, impact of COVID-19 on GCB Bank, impact of COVID-19 on Access Bank. So, do, so once Google scan through your content, Google will say, oh, nah, this guy has really done something good. Let me push him above what is already existing. So that is why sometimes some of the bloggers who are listening to me, you can write article and somebody will just pick your content and the, the person is ranking higher than the person took your content. The secret is that the person added a little of information to what is already existing. So Google saw that, oh, this guy's text is higher than what is already existing. So let me push him above that particular content which is existing. So one, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to write, but sometimes uh, it is deemed essential that you must have a fair idea of whatever niche you want to go through. Because me, when we were settling for the education niche, I didn't know much about an education niche. But as, but I started reading about other blogs, other education blogs, how they wrote their content, how they source it, how they were linking it. Then I felt like no, I can you can also do it and do it very better. Then we, we went into it. So sometimes, despite doing SEO and everything, I write about some educational content when the need arises, because you just have to learn it. It's very essential. So one, see that you learn it by yourself or you get you get a coach, somebody who can coach you along the line. Or if you have the money and the resources available, 
you can hire people. These people will write the content for you and you just put it on your website. As simple as that. Okay. So these are some of the ways of which you can, I mean, go about your niche. All right. All right. So basically what I've taken from uh, right now is that you can you can learn it. So you don't need to be an expert to get started. But once you have gotten started or you've decided to get started in a particular niche, then you have to apply yourself to learn almost everything about that niche in order to produce the content that is relevant. And you do so by also looking at other related content that other people are creating so that you'll be able to create better content than they are already creating. Then the other way is to get a coach or get other people to write for you. And in in the month of February, we did a whole, I think a four, it was four sessions, four different sessions of the digital school in the iCreate community. So that was held on uh, Facebook, within our Facebook group, and we called it a content creation masterclass. So during that session, we actually learned how to create content. So just as Chris have said, you can learn to create content and this comes with practice. So you are going to get experience, you are going to build experience with time. But how to get it done and get it done well, we have actually covered it in four part sessions. So if you are not part, you are not already part of the iCreate community on Facebook, you can join iCreate community, just visit Facebook and search for iCreate community, I-K-R-A-T. Okay, I'll leave it down scrolling there somewhere afterwards so that you see, you join iCreate community and there is a guide. There is, we've created a guide for content creation so you can look at that. All right, so to the audience, if you have any questions along the line, I saw someone said, I want to ask a question. If you have any questions, just ask your questions. You'll pick them with time. So just ask your question and as and when we get there, we would answer them. Okay, so just to reiterate some of the things that Chris mentioned earlier, he said, when you are doing this kind of business, that is a blogging business, there are some tools that you need. You need a... Uh, the good tools. It's like if you start and you are not aware of these tools, you may not succeed. And he made mention of Answer the Public. So Answer the Public is a platform where you can go to get ideas to write content. So for instance, if you have chosen your niche and let's say you are writing about uh, let me see which one. Okay, what caught my attention was travel and tour. Travel and tour. So if let's say you have chosen the niche travel and tour and you want to write something about it, let's say, for instance, traveling to Dubai from Ghana. If you go to answerthepublic.com and you search for maybe uh, Dubai or travel to Dubai, Answer the Public will give you possible questions that almost everyone is asking. Okay, so frequently asked questions that you can write content about. So all you need to do is to pick the individual questions. When you pick... Okay, so how to get a visa to Dubai or how to get a Dubai visa. Then you write content about that. How to do this and that. You create content about that. So when you get a right, you are sure to also succeed with blogging. All right, great. So now let's talk about one very key thing. If I have gotten a website, I've started creating content. Obviously, when, when I created my website, I chose a niche. And now I've started creating content, but I'm not getting anybody to read my content. How do I get, after I've created a new content, how do I get people to visit my site? Or how do I drive the right thing being traffic? How do I drive traffic to the new website? So assuming right now, right from this session, I go to create my own website and I start writing content. Let's say overnight, I'm able to even produce three pieces of content and put them online. How do I get people to even see that I've created such content? Okay, a very nice question. <laughs> so the, uh, this reminds me on the, I call it the dark days, the dark days on the internet. Those days you could, you could write an article, then 
once you are done writing article, you're looking at ways to drive traffic to that particular article. And I remember mm -hmm. those times we used to visit our own article <laughs> <laughs> in a day, so Charlie. So getting traffic to a website is is a, is one of the most important thing about blogging. It's like you are taking care of a, ch a child to go to school and that child is always failing in the exams, in the quizzes, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like Charlie, Okra, you are frustrated. So one way of getting traffic, I mean, right now, one way of getting traffic is using social media. And using social media here, I'm targeting only two social media. That is Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. So with Facebook, you can create a page for your for your blog. Once you've created a page for your blog, then you try joining Facebook groups, which is related to your blog. Don't go and join a, <laughs> a page which talks about relationship whilst you're creating about campus content. It looks like Charlie is it's misleading priority. You're not trying to, I mean, prioritize whatever you're trying to do. So if you are doing education, then you write content about education. Try joining groups about universities campuses. Let's say EW, UCC, K University campuses, which has a number of like, I mean, audience in a particular group. So once you join the group, you try to follow the rules and regulations in the group. Because if you don't follow, you may end up being taken out of the group. And once you're taken out, and especially one 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 medium of earning your traffic is being i mean a uh, blacklisted so you have to follow the rules and regulations in that particular group so now let's narrow down as to how you can get a very good traffic so you are done publishing your content you have the content one you should share it on your individual facebook page before sharing it to your 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 group facebook page i mean your your your, your blog facebook page then you then send a uh, what do you call send that particular link to the various facebook groups that you've joined aside that if you're a new blog you can use facebook advertisements to run ads for your page to get a very substantial amount of followers once you've gotten that particular amount of followers then you focus on, I mean, engaging your followers. So one, one way of engaging your followers is trying to create, I mean, content that meets, I mean, their interest. So for instance, if, it's, if it is Independence Day, you bring some flyer which talks about independence. You just try and, let's say, maybe if it's about any of our forefathers who helped in the fight for the independence, just bring the person some, flyer them some tests some quotes and just type maybe happy independence day guys stay safe you are you are done you've done your way of engaging your community so as time goes on then you then bring let's see a discussion on board let's see if you have a, a health website like wapomu.com their their facebook page you now try to educate people let's say people are now maybe dying from a uh, covid what you can do is just go on your Facebook page. Then you talk about ways to prevent, ways to, uh, to, ways to prevent yourself from dying from COVID-19. Then just tell them maybe one is you adhere to the various protocols. You wash your hands, you exercise, you eat a balanced diet, you sleep well, you take in water, blah 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 blah. That is one of the way of engaging your community. Once your community sees that you are engaging in a very good way, they will now suggest your page to other people. Oh, Charlie, if you need a very good health, I mean, info, go to Wapom, uh, search for Wapom on Facebook. Charlie, once you see, Charlie, like their page, join it. Every day they tell us about the various ways to, I mean, stay healthy and boost our immune system. That's one of the ways. Another way is that you can run Google Ads. After this video, you can, you can read about uh, running ads on Google. It's very easy. With seven dollars, you can with seven dollars a day, of which is not that um, that much heavy. You can run an, an ads a day, then maybe reach like let's say five hundred websites or like thousand websites. So 
those are one those are some of the ways you can you can end traffic another way is using twitter you see with twitter it deals with trends so as the trend is moving you can create a content then you match it up with a hashtag which is making waves so let's say with a uh, with what happened yesterday about the actress you can just create a content about all you need to know about the actress who has been jade and you add the hashtag then once you add the hashtag you see that you see that a uh, google will now be rolling your content to other people to other twitter users then Charlie, it ends up that your impression is going higher then Charlie, at the end of the day you get a very good traffic from these various social media pages but the funny thing is that you can't be earning traffic from social media without knowing where the traffic is actually coming from if you know that it will be like you are just trying to experiment something so one there are some tools online which can engage you in a way to know where the traffic is really coming from whether it's a and is a social media traffic it's an organic traffic or traffic from your 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 advertisement one of the tools is is google campaign url with the google campaign url you can configure to know where the traffic is coming from whether it's coming from facebook it's coming from twitter it's coming from whatsapp and other ways you can make very good use of whatsapp pages if you if you have a very good phone with a very good ram a very good memory you can join as multiple pages on whatsapp and even using a uh, this gb whatsapp this a uh, uh, multiple whatsapp account you can join multiple pages then you share your content to those various pages and once you share content over those pages for some time your blog registers it con its presence with those people so as time goes on you don't need to share the content the people will now visit your site for those content because they know that one you are, you produce this such kind of content because for instance if i need information about health related stuff i don't need to go anywhere i just wake up i just log on to wapum.com and see what they have that what they have for the day and sometimes i can just read an article and just tell that charlie this one i don't understand what is it about because some of you are not into this health related stuff so for instance if you need information about health related stuff another way of getting quality information is go to wapumu.com it's one of the best i mean a health website in ghana once you go there charlie you educate yourself and once you know at least this people they are providing a good content you begin to follow it over time so you've now registered what you call a direct traffic with your users so now you don't need to share content an example is this big video like my john online city newsroom ghana web ghana web doesn't need to share the content on facebook before you follow the page because you know that they already registered their presence as a media group which provides like timely content. So you know that actually once you hear that maybe there's an accident or maybe Ghana has won a, a trophy in Uganda or anywhere, the first place that most Ghanaians can take up is Ghana Web. Let me go to Ghana Web to confirm if it is true. So one, you need very good content before you can think of getting traffic because the content would depend, the content would direct the people either to follow your your website or not and one thing i've always realized is that sometimes people try to create some headlines to suit their traffic means of which i don't see to be a very good way although sometimes it is very good but sometimes it's not very good you should try to create the content the, the, the headline which matches in line with the content so that at least once the person lands on the website you will say oh we blog is someone kind of crap. The moment somebody tells you, I'm like, Charlie, your brand is as thick. Mm. So I said, you can use Google campaign URL. And one way to also to monitor where the traffic are coming from is Google Analytics. It is, I mean, it is the, it is the only platform that they can also measure the traffic coming to a website. Another one is called Oribi Analytics. As for Ruby, it's run on on premium basis. But once you sign up, they give you a, a free a free period of I think fifteen days, and it's similar to Google Analytics. But Ruby gives you I mean extensive analytics. It even shows you sometimes the mail the email of the person, sometimes the location and I mean 
it goes into details showing the longitude and the latitude where the person is situated at. It gives you how the person landed on a website. If it is Facebook, it will show you, oh, it was through this Facebook page. It came to a website. It searched for this term. It did that. It did that. So that one is very extensive. So if you have a blog or you are planning on getting a blog, which will be very bigger in the future, I think you can think about those kind of analytics. But as for Google Analytics, it is very free. And their own tool is very, very super. At least with their Google Analytics 4 account, you can do a lot of uh, one hour styles in there. So, one, you can get traffic from uh, social media pages. Another way, you can get traffic from, I mean, WhatsApp pages, also Telegram. Another one which I don't recommend to people is getting traffic through a uh, traffic bot. Some people say, I can pay fifteen dollars to get traffic from traffic engines. Like let's say like traffic bots, they just pay like five dollars. Then you get around like a five thousand traffic. The 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 scenario here is that I don't know day you may not, you may not get those traffic consistently because you are not using the right way to get those traffic. And perhaps if you are using if you run advertisements or if you partner with other ads network, you may end up your account being blocked because you are cheating on those advertisers. You are using various dubious ways to cheat on them. But this, those advertisers, they are running these ads in order to get a return. So if you go those way, you may end up your account being blocked. So the, be the best way to go about it is to use social media. And on social media, can use only Facebook. I know some, some blogs which earn around 5K traffic from only Facebook. And they do it solely with Facebook groups. And as with Facebook, they have different countries. I mean, like different people from different countries joining. So you can you can imagine somebody from UK, somebody from from a, U, a US, Gam, Gambia, Germany, seeing your seeing your, your 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 website and visiting it. And sometimes when Facebook sees that your website is doing well, or people are sharing your 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 link or your website. They now roll the algorithm to suit your website. So sometimes you just go to Facebook and they say suggested content. Because Facebook has seen that this particular content is, is doing well in their platform, they now try to roll it out to various users across their channel. So I think uh, to cut it short, try not to, don't try to use a, a traffic bot. It's not helpful if you really want to, I mean, build a very nice traffic channel on your website so i think basically that's something about like getting a very good traffic to your website Imagine. online all right so i've i've actually learned a lot of things right now and i'm going to comment about a few things that you mentioned and i think in some way uh, i can say that it means when we create a blog and the content that we are creating, we should create content such that our audience will build trust in us. And I can use a specific example. You gave some examples, but personally, if right now I should see any content out there, you know, just as you said, some people create content to entice other people to visit their sites, and it may not necessarily be true. So some people share false news just to get people to their site, what we call clickbait. So they, they put out something, let's say a prominent person in Ghana, and they'll just write that this person is dead, even when the person is not dead. And because everybody knows this person, when they see that topic, they want to go and find out, is it true that this person is dead? <laughs> so because I am aware that this is what a lot of bloggers do, I know specific sites that I would want to visit at any point in time to confirm that this is true. So, for instance, if we get uh, any campus news, actually, this is practical. If there is any campus news at all that I'm seeing anywhere being posted anywhere, the next thing I do is go to hypercitygh.com to see if they have published something about that. And once Hypercity has published it, I know that this is true because I know they won't publish anything that is not true. So basically, I've learned that every content that we are creating, we should be able to create content that is true and valuable to our audience. And from the sources of traffic that we are looking at, 
generating traffic to our site from what you've discussed so far we can put them into two categories as the organic aspect and the paid aspect so when it comes to organic traffic it's basically all the efforts that we do without paying any sort of money to get people to visit our website and you mentioned that we can use social media you mentioned facebook twitter and whatsapp and what i like to call uh, organic traffic and how to even make use of it i have this ideology that i call the billboard effect so this is how i explain it i use it as an analogy and this is how i explain it when you see a billboard let's say coca-cola's billboard okay and it's informing you about them but it's not the very moment that you see it that you are going to buy okay so that is some sort of and um, let's say when you present yourself i keep sharing i keep sharing my content to these same people that is a similar effect that the billboard is presenting the billboard is their face and anybody who is passing that site is always seeing it is always seeing it because there is no need at that point in time for that content on the billboard they are not going to purchase the coca-cola but the next time they are very tasty or they are in the shop to buy a soft drink and they open the freezer on opening the freezer if they see a lot of drinks and they are they don't know which drinks are there but they see coca-cola they are likely to pick the coca-cola out of the others and the only reason is because the coca-cola has some sort of impression on them they have been seeing it over time so what i can say from this is that when we create our content we need to also put it out there let people see so for instance chris was using wapumu which is which is the uh, health and wellness blog that we have as i create and and so chris was talking about the wapumu and what we are doing with wapumu is we are creating house related content and we are letting people know about it so if next tomorrow you need any health information as he's saying because we keep creating quality content you are sure that you will go and choose wapumu or you will go to wapumu and go and search for that health related content so basically anytime you decide to be creating content you have to create original content you have to create content that is that your audience can trust don't use any form of clickbait as you said don't just put any kind of content there so that people will click and come to your site okay so that is very well noted and you made mention of some tools that you can use you made mention of google campaign you are or google analytics and i think even when you are starting maybe you may not concern yourself so much with all these tools but along the line you have to also learn some of these tools in order to uh, do all as a blogger or make lots of money as a blogger all right please so we've been talking a lot about blogging and uh, we keep mentioning making money making money <laughs> now can you share with us how actually like how i want to make money for my blog but how is it and i think one one other question that comes up is um is there any blog at all that i can make money from and if i create a blog how long will it take me to make money from it if i should start right now this evening after this session go and set up my own blog when do i expect to make money from it so since you are the expert let's hear from you <laughs> a, very, a very a very nice question so this this remembers this I mean, the rest of those days where we used to create, I mean, content virtually. A creative content means that I, once you're creating content, you even know about how to make money from the content, and the money cry is not coming. So, one of the one of the legitimate ways of making money online is partnering with ads network. I mean, advertising network. And one of the popular one is Google AdSense. It looks like Google has taken over the internet. Right now, if you mention the internet, people think it's Google. Because Google, Google has everything from Google Domain to Google Hosting, Google Cloud, Google Mail, Google Workplace, everything. 
So one is Google AdSense. So when you, when you go to every website in Ghana, and even like, I think 80% of the West websites in the world, they run ads on them. So those ads pay the website their domain, their, their yearly domain, their, their monthly hosting, sometimes their, their yearly hosting, and they earn a lot of profit from those ads. Let me just give a little bit, a little scenario. For instance, uh, I remember the first time we earned from our website, where well, that time I was in final year. I think I was in final year by then. It was around a hundred, I think somewhere around seven hundred dollars. Is it seven hundred dollars? No, 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 no. Somewhere around seven hundred cities. It was around seven hundred cities that time. Then as time went on, we started earning above that particular I mean range. So I realized that now if you can partner one ad network and maybe you earn around thousand cities a month, then it means if I partner like two two networks, I can get like two thousand in a month. There's there's a scenario here and there's somewhere kind of confusion here. You see, you have a website. And the website is more or less like a classroom. So you have students, some, some are offering physics, some are offering, let's say, chemistry. So when you open the classroom, they try to fight over space. That is one thing about the ads network. So if you try to bombard your website with a lot of ad network, at the end of the day, you may earn a very little amount. But let's say you have two ad networks, you partner with Google AdSense. Another one is MGate, if you're an entertainment blog, MGate. They also, they also pay very well. You partner with these two ads network. Then every month, at least they pay you around $200 each. And it means, Charlie, you are, you, are, you are getting a very good amount of money. There's also one trick here. Earning, on, earning online or earning through blogging it's very sometimes it's sometimes very hard, but there are a lot of I mean tricks to it. One is getting traffic from US or getting traffic from US, UK, and Netherland. Those are some of the locations which when you receive traffic on your website, they pay a lot than getting traffic from Ghana. So for instance, before you can earn a very good amount of money, you need a very good traffic. Uh, let me just blow your minds more. I remember before this, KNST Freshers, they came to campus. In a day, we, we earned around $47 in a day. What was the, 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 the secret? The secret was that they were doing live streaming about orientation. So what we did was we just embedded the, the, the code and we, we embedded it on our website. And we shared the links. And I remember one someone PM'd me saying... This link, Dave, is not from my past. Like, I, like I won't follow. I was like, hey, why, why, why? He was like, nah, you guys have been giving us updates about how to, how we can get, come to campus, how you can get to our hall, how to can, how we can register, do our courses and stuff. So, so I felt like, nah, sometimes building a very brand trust is also a very good way of earning revenue. So you need to build a brand that let's say. I mean, international news. So what you do is you solely write about it and what is happening around the world. You don't do anything. You just write about what is happening around the world. And you do it and do it very well. Then now, since right now about international news, you will get a lot of Africans in the diaspora visiting your, your site. The logic is that if, I, if you get like 50 people from US visiting your site, you can earn around like uh, $15 in a day. Plus, if I get around... 1k people in Ghana visiting my site, I may just earn around like five dollars. So Google has placed premium on countries like US, UK, Netherlands, Germany, Italy. So, so if you create content and by God's grace you get a lot of visitors from these particular areas, I bet you you really you you really make a lot of money. Another way is another way of earning from your blog is content submission people can submit content to your blog and they can just say oh i want you to post this article on your site 
I'll pay you like fifty dollars through paper. And that one is quick, 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 quick. Like you don't waste time. Don't make the count. I just take you publish it. You send the send them the link. Then you give them your paper details. Then just send the money to you. You just be there and Charlie. You receive alerts in your your I mean your account. Another way of also earning I mean from your blog is you can add you can advertise with these betting companies but sometimes me i don't advertise with those betting companies because i know i know it's against some of my principles so i don't advertise with them but at least i've seen uh, a number of websites who advertise with this betting company and they they really pay a lot some can pay like 500 cities a month for just their their banner being on the website so if you like publish, if you like don't publish, at the end of the month, I'm taking my reference to this. That one there's conk. You don't talk much. When the month is due, they will pay you quick. But for me, me, I don't run anything related to like betting. We don't we don't even run some because I don't know, but I don't really it's based on my some of my principles. I don't really run those kind of content. So one, you can use Google AdSense. With Google AdSense, it is one of the trusted way of earning money. And you can earn as much somewhere around uh, $300 in a month. If it could be possible, like I would share my screen. Can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, you can share it. Sure. So I'm sharing my screen. Then I'm showing you. I'm trying to show you one of the one, one ads one company of which i tried to monetize their ads for them you see that a uh, getting their adsense account verified for them so you see how much a particular blog is earning you'll be you'll be you'll be amazed about the amount of money they are earning so this is this is just one site So this is how much this person has made. It's it's 17th. And this person has made around one 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 two point three zero dollars. Last month he made three hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Then last two months he made two hundred and forty-two dollars. So this this is a very good way of earning I mean online. And Charlie, if you if you have this kind of money uh, in your account every month, Charlie. Uh, you, you can really, I mean, take very good care of yourself. So that's one way of like ending online. So uh, that's, I mean, that's a very quick way. And I'm sure many of you saw saw the screenshots and some of the revenue the person is really earning. It's one of the blog I try to verify the AdSense account for them. So this is how much somebody is making for just writing content online. So. The, the the particular bug you saw is around five months old. So wow. meaning, if wow. you start today, wow. you can earn more than what the person has done. And there was a day I was telling somebody that you can't run anything on common sense. You need experts. Sometimes you just have to leave the work to the expert for them to do. Not everything you can do it by yourself. If it is our content, you need content. Just pay them to generate the content for you. Once they generate the content, the content becomes your property. You can decide to do anything with the content. You see that you want to divide the content into pieces. <laughs> you want to divide it like if you like three lines, three lines to post it on a website to get a lot of traffic. That one is your own, it's your own cup of tea. So now the 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 table the, the quote is that you can't do business on common sense. And I remember this this one was being made by which were a I always remember when I'm trying to go into any, I mean, I mean, I mean, any venture. I say no. If I can't do it, I just need the experts. Then those experts, they they, they give me the instruction. Oh, Charlie, we can do it that way. We can do it that then get the revenue. For instance, with AdSense, if you're not, if you don't get a lot of insight from other people, you may end up <laughs> even earning one dollar a day becomes very difficult. Sometimes, with my little knowledge in AdSense, by the grace of God. I still ask other pro people in blogging, and of which I can't even mention their name. Some uh, somebody like wow. 
Chris. All right, so it looks like Chris's network is having a toll on him as, as he reconnects and joins us. I hope you are enjoying the session so far. If you are enjoying it, let me know in the comment section. Enjoying, right? Enjoying in the comment section so that I know that you are enjoying it. And as we wait for Chris to join us. Okay. So he he touched on a few things that I want to add some things to. One about how much you make when you get traffic from the United States of America, from Netherlands, from the UK. And when you compare, you realize that traffic from UK, US, Netherlands weighs heavier. Okay, they pay you more when people from those places visit your site as compared to when people from Ghana visit your site. And it's basic uh, logic. The reason is that people from the U.S., advertisers from the U.S., so basically Google's ad network is such that we have advertisers who are willing to pay Google so that Google will show those their ads on your website. So let's say company A. Company A has an advert that they want to show to people, but they don't necessarily have to go and create their own website, so they push their ads to Google. Then Google is looking for platforms or uh, for websites or blogs. So you, as their partner, they are going to use your blog and come and put companies' A's advert onto your blog. And once people visit your blog and see it or click it, Google is going to pay you some fraction of the money that company A paid. So basically, that is how Google ends up giving you money. Some advertisers or companies have paid google that google we have adverts we had product that we want to advertise or we have services that we want to advertise so push it out there for us and google finds you as a partner that you have a platform so they push your ads they push their ads on your platform and when people visit it they pay you for that basically so that's what he was talking about and you realize that the people in the us the uk and the Netherlands, they pay more to Google. Okay, so when they want to advertise, they pay more to Google. Therefore, if somebody sees it from that end, those people there would be willing to pay you more. But here in Ghana, we pay less for some of these things. All right, Chris, welcome back. Uh, I think you stopped at a point where you were, I think you were going to mention some example, like someone that you seek some knowledge from yes, yes. i think that's so, where you end it yeah so so as i was speaking uh, on the internet there's nothing like an expert or there's nothing like a pro we are all trying to learn and we learn every day and uh one thing that makes me uh that makes me know that no one is a pro is that every month google is now releasing updates if it's not a month like every three months google is releasing updates and with this update, you need to be very conversant. You need to learn as to how you can make your website, I mean, adjust those kind of updates. So sometimes I feel like, Charlie, my sense is not going well. And I contact somebody like brownjigs.com, the, the, the owner, say, Charlie, hey, how is your AdSense going? Is, is it encouraging? So, Charlie, today, market no good. And I know, I know, it's really a global problem. Not me alone. Like, everybody is rather bleeding. So you okay. need, like, you need somebody to guide you along the way. Like, you need somebody to guide you along the way. And sometimes with content, I, I, I know one of my, my mentor who is in the States, Oral Fori, who guides me. Sometimes I just write content. I feel like, Charlie, let me just, let me just send it to him. Then for him to go through and say, oh, this, add this one here, take this one out. And then I even share some to Dr. Weda or Hania to go through to see. If those con if it is it really suit or if it is sometimes very good or sometimes Charlie, you are typing you don't even remember to bring punctuation marks. So those are some of the stuff. So uh I feel like on the internet you need somebody so that somebody can also help you because we all have diverse talent, diverse knowledge as to how the, the internet works. Because last month one of a colleague a colleague of mine had his Facebook page blog. Then one of my colleagues had a premium facebook account you just had to chat facebook then account was unblocked and i was like charlie 
we live we live in a very small village oh. so you need to connect with other people it's not competition yeah. sometimes i just yeah. tell people that this blogging stuff if you come first me i don't I have no issue i make sure that i write my content in a way that at least if i don't come second i come third then initially yeah. i'm also among i mean the first the first five so it's not competition if you, if you see that if you come you come into the blogging arena and see that your content are not ranking very well I beg you, don't don't get angry easy, easily. I remember there was a time somebody sent me a message to my wife. I was like, Charlie, we started working on Ascens for like one month. We are not seeing top. We want to quit. I said, Charlie, me cry, still cry. I'm still learning on how to make money from Ascens. So, <laughs> so, so, I beg you, don't don't quit. I beg you, don't quit. We are all learning. So uh, the the internet keeps on changing. Sometimes you can receive traffic of let's say two hundred views. Just 20 views, not near to 500. And you can get around for a five dollars. You'll be like, hey, tell me what happened. Like, it sounds like you don't even understand. Is it that whether Google dashed the money to you or like somebody just clicked on the app or something like you don't even understand? Sometimes you, you can get like 5k, your your whole revenue is three dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes, nice, sometimes you can get like three k, and your whole revenue is like let's say uh, one dollar. Then you be like Charlie, you be like Charlie. Ah, am I even working or I'm just trying to write the article for people to just be entertained? So I think consistency, punctuality, then patience. <laughs> I think is okay. very key when it comes to anything on the internet because. When I'm going to show you the AdSense account, you may, you may run mad. I went for a conference last year and I saw somebody's AdSense account for a month. And the person was earning around $600 a month. I was like, hey, Charlie, the some of us, we are just playing, we are just playing <laughs> on the internet. Too. So it's all about consistency, punctuality, then patience. Then at least you had a little bit of prayer and you tell God to guide you as to where you need to go, go Charlie. Uh, God is the is the author of everything. Don't don't say is, internet is different from God. God is the author of everything. He can guide you as to what content, what content to create I and mean, to get revenue. Sometimes I will be sleeping and Charlie something just crashed and I say like no, let me write something. Then I just mm -hmm. and I say Charlie that day you end man, you will end from. Or sometimes it comes to my mind. I just put you some of our writers. Or sometimes I just put you like a B. Then just write something out of it. Then. We start making somehow. So I think earning from AdSense, you need a team. Sometimes you can't move alone. If you move alone, Charlie, you may, you may end up being crashed. So you need a team. Some people who can write, some people who can edit, some people who can take care of your Facebook page, some people can share your links to pages and stuff. Because Charlie, one man, one man, you can't do everything, you know, like Charlie, you may end up uh, frustrated. So you need, you need to bring in what you call specialization. Where uh, everybody focuses on a particular interest. Let's say I'm interested in SEO. That is what I do at Hypercity, basically. I do SEO, anything about SEO, that I, that's what I do. So that is where I'm interested in it. And there are some people who are interested in articles. That is what they do. Other people, they are, they are interested in assisting some of our clients, uh, replying to our emails, making sure our content are, are on our various Facebook pages. That is what they do. If you are one man and try to do all this in Charlie, you may end up every day you break, you break down, you break down. Yeah. Try then, then you will be, you be searching for you search on the internet uh, how to release stress easily, how to do that. <laughs> the, the, the thing is that you need a team to lead those kind of stress. Mm. So you, you need you need a team. And I bet you okay. you can start today, then in the next three weeks, you can earn more than a hundred dollars or let's say two hundred dollars in a month it is wow. possible there's nothing like a restriction the restriction here is that you find a niche you find very good articles if you have very good articles website like modern ghana my job online a uh, ghana web they can even take some of your articles i've seen a substantial amount of uh, articles from two pits for instance which has been on ghana web and modern ghana and ghana uh, my job online yeah, okay. because those content were seen as valuable so once you write a very good amount of content charlie they will just pick you up 
Another way to earn money on the internet is Oprah. Oprah News Hub. Oprah. They really pay well, but sometimes they have some funny requirements. So with Oprah, you partner with them, you sign agreement. Their minimum payment is $1,000. Their minimum payment is $1,000. I'm sure somebody is saying, hey, have you earned sound from Oprah? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you earn <sound>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, yes, we've, 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 Hypercity has earned sound before. Let me, let me be, let me be truthful and be thankful to God. Hypercity has, has earned sound before and it was too hard work and, uh, I mean, a little, I mean, sweat and stuff. So, you partner with Oprah, then they tell you, oh, Charlie, your minimum payment is $1,000. And that money, actually, every month, I was, like, I was just checking to see whether the $1,000 will reach. <laughs> <laughs> we are around $0.01. Like, it will take like one year before we get, we get the money. But at least with hard work, God's grace, and a very good team, we're able to get it. So with Oprah, you, you, can, you can earn like some, somewhere around like $2,000 even in a month. If you get a very solid team and you're writing, I mean, every day, it's not about, let's say, you write one article, then the next three weeks, you come back, then you come and write one. When you, you do that, it even delays Google's algorithm from cluttering your website. And you can earn a lot of money from search results. Mm -hmm. If you can earn a lot of money from search results. There are some websites, example, if you are using a tool, like SEMrush. Let me share my screen with you so that you see some of the tools that I'm talking about. So, so a tool like SEMrush, for instance, can give you a fair idea about what hypercity is and what hypercity is really doing online. In terms of their traffic, so just go to semrise.com, you create an account, they just add me, just search our hypercity or any website. So it will take some time. It depends on the, right, the, so the think, kind of network okay. you are using. In, in our part of the, net, the world, it looks like internet is, is a little bit Charlie, funny here. It looks like my, my internet is delaying a bit. Mm -hmm. But kindly be patient with me. Wow. All right, so as, as the thing loads, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section so that we will start taking the questions as soon as possible. If you have any questions, since this network is still loading, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and we'll take the questions. So basically what he was showing us right now was how we can use a particular tool to see what is going on for others, like his yeah, website. Yeah, All right, Chris, now you are back, so you can yeah. take over. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was talking basically about how you can see how a website is being online to see whether the, the website is really, I mean, it's really worth, it's really worth your time, your energy, and everything. So let's say I search about hypercity using a tool like SEMrush. Uh, SEMrush is basically an SEO tool, which can give you an in-depth knowledge about what a website is doing. So averagely in a month, Hypercity gets around 8.7K views from search, I mean, it's like organically. Then this are search authority. So if you are trying to compete with us, to make sure you have a lot of content. So this is the backlink that some of the websites which are linking to us. So you come, then you can see that, oh, this is the kind of keywords Hypercity is ranking for. And once you search about this kind of keywords, you see it. And we have a certain tool which we call it Wet of Web. 
wet wet of web with wet of web you can check how much a particular website is like how much is supposed to be so let me use a website like Infidia. Infidia is one of, it's one of the top tech websites i mean in ghana so let me use them for us to see they are how how wet i mean their website is in case maybe you want to purchase their website so so as i said it's taking uh, some time for the page to be opened but at least with word of web you can just go there sometimes depending on the kind of network you are using it sometimes delays a bit but at least if you go there it, it gives you a fair idea about what a website is earning so a website like if you do for instance oh uh, it's the website loaded so a website if, like if you do for instance if you check they might say oh if it is earning around 20 dollars a day from adsense and it is true so once you go to web of web you just paste the particular website you want to check and click on analyze their system will just take some time to analyze what infidia is about and their data is very genuine so it's saying that infidia is worth seventy three thousand and 27 so this is what a website is worth to so in case you want to purchase that and this is the estimated revenue per day so you can imagine a website is earning around 184 dollars a day charlie people are in, people are really earning i mean a lot of money on the internet so there's one way so you can use those kind of tools to check whether your website is doing very well or website is not doing very well Another tool to also to use is called Alexa, Alexa ranking. Uh, they mostly rank websites globally. And once your website is captured on Alexa, then it means, Charlie, you are doing a very good job. And last night, uh, by the grace of God, I saw that my, our website is ranking on Alexa. I was like, hey, Charlie, then I have wow, to start wow. to get some, I have to get some egg and Charlie, champagne and Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I go to uh, Alexa, Alexa ranking. Then Alexa, I checked about high capacity and I, I like it was very funny to me for me to see for me to see high capacity. Well, let, let me okay, high capacity. So you can run an analysis to see how hypothesis is actually doing. So it's saying that uh, these are websites, similarity in context. Uh, these are some of the websites which we seem to have co a similar content with them. And it's also giving me a fair idea about how people are doing on my website. So once I can say globally, my website is uh, is run, the website is ranked around 212, 208. So this is how much I'm being ranked. And it's telling me some of my key, my my top uh, keywords. It's saying my Yankum, Campus News, Sakai UG Login, Boxer Sanda, NSS. So at least it's telling me that at least I'm doing a little, I'm doing very well. And it will give you a very good idea. And it's a page. It's a paid platform, but if you want a very, I mean, a very good idea about a website, you have to use, you have to use their free version. So those are some of the tools which you can engage and make, I mean, some some analysis from your website to see how your website is doing with other websites. And with SEMrush, with with SEMrush, as I said, let me use Infidia as as a case study. You see the kind of organic traffic Infidia is earning. Then you'll be like, hey, Charlie, 
then some of the website how do they get their content from how do they even write their content sometimes it's it's all about the people you bring on board so this this the backlink a website is having and you have 160 k traffic monthly so you can see your competitors it's his competitor is jb jb Cloutier, which is also another um tech website it's also competing with mtn franco from jumia and these are some of his wow. top wow. when he searched for ghana zip code ghana zip code you see their website is being featured by google I said it. The website is being featured by Google. So a website like this, Charlie, hey, wait here. Even if I give you like 100 years, Charlie, it will take time, but at least you can try. So Google has featured most of their content. Google has featured most of their content. So if I come and I do Alexa ranking about Infidia, you realize that Charlie, Infidia is far away better than Hypercity. Why? Because is it that they started higher than us? Or they write more content so this how they are run it's two where i'm around 200 and something so blogging sometimes you need the right tools and it doesn't mean that you need to know idea about all these right tools we started without knowing some of these right tools as the demand was going then by the the race of god we started learning about some of the tools and how to engage ourselves with it so you can you can end and I know some people who do blogging as their main business. Mm -hmm. I know some people who do blogging as their main business. I know some friends, they'll just tell you that, Charlie, Chris, I'm now into writing. I write for other people. And a week, I earn 400 cities. Charlie, this one, those working at a bank, I'm not sure they earn 400 cities a week. 400 cities, you earn 400 cities a week, you work only like six hours. The rest of the day, you can use to sleep, to gain weight, and to do other <laughs> stuff. So blogging is a very good niche, and uh, I'm happy to see to see other people to come on board. Please, when they come and you see the frustration, don't give up. Try pushing hard. Some of us we also saw the frustration, and still we've been seeing the frustration. Sometimes we have a website, we have the content. Like two days, the content is not on Google. Charlie, you see that this content is from my own self. I've written the content from scratch. I didn't copy even the sentence from the internet. The content is not the Google is saying that I won't show you whatever you do, I won't show you. So sometimes what you have to do is actually you have to not think about a new headline, come and create a new headline. Then you that you read that the, the, the old article to the new one, then you delete it from your website. Then Google says, Oh, now I will show you. So Charlie, sometimes <laughs> you need to uh, examine how the blogging scope is. The thing is that whatever you do, some people will lead you. Whatever you do, mm -hmm. even if you write 500 articles in a day, you can compete with the rest of BBC and other websites. Whatever you do, you have to understand that there are others who will be ahead of you. And that one is accept. Once you accept this fact, you, you work from your heart because it's not competition. Sometimes you mm -hmm. get the breaking news first. Sometimes some people get the breaking news first. You sometimes mm -hmm. have to allow other people to also eat. And they get on public <laughs> <laughs> to I mean, enjoy some bangku and other stuff on the on the internet. So uh, my, my my admonition is that you can earn more. You can earn more on the on the internet. And some of us, the internet has been one of our source of income. Yeah, I always tell Dr. Honey that if I did not be the internet and the grace of God, Charlie, some of us like we like we have no idea except the courses we did at the university. Then we'll be taking a right to propose that. <laughs> decisions to work for them. <laughs> the blogging is at least helping us i mean survive little by little and i know that at least if christ is will be will be among the top bloggers in this country that one it has been my friend it, it shall come to pass so uh you can end more i'm also open for discussion but i beg uh, your your, your the, the letter discussion be very small small if you if you try to go about the discussion, Charlie, I at the end I'm not replying or I beg because I'm in a lot of pages. So sometimes when you send me a message, I have to scroll down and check who has sent me a message and stuff. So I'm okay. open to anybody. I'm, I'm open to anybody to assist and because 
Sampo assisted me to come up. So I also had to give the same knowledge to other people. So I'm, I'm available if you need any help with word press, with SEO. If only I can assist, I can show you. If I can't assist, I'll just let you know. Child. This one is it's on premium basis. You have to pay something. And one thing is that, mm -hmm. last I was telling Dr. Honor that I don't normally like free things because I've seen that free things are not good. And I've restricted myself mm -hmm. from free things. Even on WordPress, the free things, but they're not nice. All the free <laughs> things are not When you, when you, then when you to go to premium things, you see that Charlie, the developer has really <laughs> done a very interesting work. He's telling you that Charlie, you have to put premium on whatever you are trying to do. So I beg when you come and tell me, please, can you create a website for me for free? I'll tell you, the website creation there is not free. You need to pay something. At least yeah. you know, you have to keep on talking. So you can yeah. end on the internet. Google AdSense is one. MGate is one. There is also what you call affiliate marketing. Yeah. Affiliate marketing. You can affiliate with some of these companies, like these hosting companies. They can tell you that, Charlie, write an article about us. We pay you 50, 150 cities a month. And make sure that in the article, you link to our website. Then let's say we get like three people from your, your site. We'll pay you, let's say, 15 cities per referral. That is very good, but Charlie, that one, you need a very good forum. I mean, a very strong system before you can start ending on that. And that one, you, you must start giving consultation services. I mean, pre-consultation for some time. They can say, oh, if you want to buy hosting, buy it through this, my link. If you want to buy this, buy it through my link. And that one, too, a lot of people earn money from it. The last time uh, I, I pounded on a particular, uh, what do you call, eBay listing. Where they were paying seven dollars a day for publishing 63 articles on ebay i think it was a company in the us who were who, who were sold into that so they had a wordpress platform where once you publish the article on wordpress it synchronizes with the the, the ebay platform directly today so they were paying people for it so something like this once you sign up a day charlie you publish only 63 articles 63 that one is possible because they only have the articles for you. It's copy and paste. Now you don't have any anything to do. Just copy and paste, copy and paste three times. Once you're done, seven, seven dollars. It's in your account, bruh. And they pay you once you are done. So you can think about something like this. And you can do wow. it on your, your free your free time. So you can search about eBay listing. And aside eBay listing, there's what you call Fiverr and other freelancing platforms of which you can also sign up for. I remember when I was writing my final thesis, I was looking for a way to check my plagiarism score. So I went to Fiverr and I saw this guy, Charlie, can you check my plagiarism score for you? I was like, I can check it for you within five minutes. I was hey, but the plagiarism score, that it doesn't take much time like that. So I contacted this guy. Then yes, he, he was able to check it for me and even gave me some free WordPress teams and plugins of which I'm still using. So that was the, the benefit of me patronizing his services. He told me he will give me Yoast SEO premium free. So I did my wow. a little checks. Then I realized that, oh, Charlie, the team was, I mean, wet. And the last thing I want to talk is that anything on WordPress is paid. I mean, like, let me put it that way. Anything on WordPress is paid. But as some of the staffs, there's a way of getting it, I mean, at a lower price. They are called GPO. GPO, I mean, platforms. If the, if the if the plugin or team is sold around fifty fifty dollars, and get around like forty four dollars, that one is better than going to download the nerd version. Uh, I remember it was either Information Ministry or Ministry of Health. They had an issue with that. Yeah. They downloaded yeah. a nerd team that the developer had. The developer knew it, or maybe somebody prompted the developer. The developer injected a code. I don't know how he came about it. The, the next day they went to their website and they were like buy uh, buy this thing with with, <laughs> with a coupon code of this i was like hey the whole ministry in ghana is in there is in there nothing how much more about this much more bloggers paying teams so i feel like sometimes it will i mean invest and investing in in your investing in your blog is also another way of like earning something the last time I was listening to Bishop, I was listening to a Bishop, was it Mesa or Tabo? He said that those behind of us, if they started it well, like wouldn't be here trying to suffer for the next generation. If our grandparents, they 
they're able to buy land, they're able to do a lot of time. Charlie, I can't waste my time to come and do blogging. So it means that if you invest in blogging, it might be, I mean, the investment you can give to your next generation. Most of the, the Nigerian bloggers, they bought cars, I mean, Benz. Benz and those stuff, so the blogging. And I know a number of bloggers in Ghana who every year they go to Dubai free because they have a blog. Charlie, so going to Dubai, you can go anywhere. Just have a blog. All you need is just your ticket. They say come to Dubai. Don't there's no need to go and bring connection or anybody. Come to Dubai. Those are some of the benefits like you get once you come on once you start like doing blogging. So it's possible. Somebody have, has bought bands with, with blogging. It's not it's not blood money. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's not blogging money. That's what I bought. And I know one guy, you can you can you can read about this website, it's called Jet Stanza. He was able to go to Chelsea. Their trophy room with this website, so it's possible. Some people are doing wonders with just a blog. So what can't you also do? You can also even meet the president with your blog. It's possible. So it's all about you getting the next right, creating the content. Once you create the content, the people themselves will calling you. I read uh, one of the day, uh, this guy, Kojo Sheldon, said he had a call from the presidency about the content he created. Why? Because the content was very great. And it was towards the president. So they called him. He had a call from, from the president that, that, that this, 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 this. Just Charlie, sometimes what you create is what will take you to Keynes. It's possible. Don't, don't, don't think of, I mean, creating some headlines I mean, to, to bring some dubious traffic to your website. That one is not the best way. Just sit down, have your principle that this is what I want to do. And I want to do, I want to do it well. Because others are succeeding in it. And it's possible. I'll, I'll tell people that the blogging space in Ghana is overloaded. But once you come and you are with a good intention, Charlie, you can win. You can really win. I've seen some websites. I, I'm engaging with a certain website. And the website started in 2019. As I said, the website has a, a, what a, a daily monthly, a, a monthly a search traffic of 9K. 2019, oh, they, and they are ranking for like Charlie top top keywords of which you might not even think about it. Something like a KNST by Chancellor. They are ranking for this kind of keyword. I was like, hey, Charlie, 2019, and me, I came 2018, I couldn't rank for that particular keyword. <laughs> so I felt like Charlie, sometimes getting it right is very important for you earning a very good amount of money. Aside that partner with the ad networks and the ad company sometimes can get partnership. Some institution can tell you, oh, I want to partner with you. You pick up my content. When I go, when I get, let's say, press briefing, I'll send it to you. Then I'll pay you like $200. That one, that one alone can pay your hosting and your domain for a year. So please, the, the, the blogging space is a very good niche. Just make sure, just come on board make sure you are getting your contents right and getting the tools right we at i create community we are very open for business and other related stuff okay and crisis network is jamming the game all right so just to add on to what chris was saying that in some of these instances you need a team and you also need uh, experts or people who have been in the business for long. And this is the main reason why we created the iCreate community, so that you have a lot of people that you can reach out to at any point in time. You can reach out to people who have experience in some of these fields. So when you join the iCreate community, this is where you find people like Chris and myself and every other person that you can meet. You can equally meet like-minded people who are also starting up, team up and build something for yourself. So that is very, very important. And I also think the idea of having a team is also very important for your success as a blogger. When you are starting out, obviously your mindset may be to start up as the sole person, but just as Chris was saying, the work may be overwhelming and therefore you should try and get people because if you alone are supposed to create content, then share the content. 
uh, manage your social media platforms then try learning all these tools that Chris was mentioning you know very well that you may not be able to keep up and that is what a lot of people do and they end up getting frustrated along the line so today as you are on this live or even if you watch the repeat the uh, or the replay of this particular session get to know that you starting with a team is the best of things that can happen to you so make sure you come together look for people with a similar interest if, if even if it is not just about blogging you can also look for people who are interested in managing your social media handles and every other thing that you may need so that it doesn't always have to be you and you alone all right so as we wait uh, i wait for Chris to join us since the time is going i'll quickly go through the comments and pick a few of the questions that came in okay so i think chris is joining us now all right chris so as you have joined us uh, let me ask my last question so that we can then pick the questions that the audience have since we we are far behind time right now so the next the last question i want to ask is well we've talked about how you can make money from all these avenues that you've mentioned but the question is how do i actually get paid after i've made money so for instance when you showed us the platform that someone is earning this as at this date of the month that money is written in the account that we are seeing but how does the person get that money as in fiscal money that they can have in their pocket or what so a few questions that people usually ask is 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 google going to pay me using mobile money is google going to pay me using my bank account or uh, people always hear about paypal must i get a paypal account in order to get money into the account so this is a question i hope you are not freezing again hello grace all right so unfortunately grace is frozen again i think i should start with the questions then when it comes you answer that particular one how do you get the money into your pocket all right so if you have any questions those of you with us if you have any questions Right. Sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah. So I'm I'm very sorry for the network breakages. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But did you get did you get my question? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So so, so you can. I got a question. It was solely on how you can let's see how you can cash out. Yes. The money exactly. On the the various dashboard. So one of the way to cash out from some of this, let's say ads platform is one, you get in a bank account. So you get a bank account, let's say from um, Access Bank, APSA, UBA, GCB. Then once you get an account, you then opt for a Visa card. Once you get the Visa card, then you, you tell them you will be accepting international payments. So if they have a certain visa, I mean, pack, a visa card package, which can meet your needs, then you go for it. Once you go for it, then 
for instance, like AdSense, let me share my uh, screen with you. For instance, with AdSense, there's a portion where you can add your bank details so that the money will be transferred to you at the, at the, at the, at the month. So once it's in the month, you don't need to wait for anything. They will just process the money, then they'll get the money into your account. So, for instance, now saying you go to payment. Once you go to payment, you see something like how you get paid. He's talking about transfer to bank. So the first so you have to, all you have to do is just to add your bank details. So once you add your bank details on 21st of every month. AdSense will just process them. So you just come here, add, add payment method. Then you choose. You see that a wire transfer. Then you choose that particular wire transfer. They just add the various details on your bank account. Then just save it. Once you save it, so all you need is just the name of the bank account, the, the name on the account, the Swift code, the account number that's all then you just save the one is to invest of every month adsense will process the the money so approximately somewhere around like 24th 25th the money should hit your account if your your account details was really true it's supposed to hit your account if your account details is wrong the money will still bound, the money will be processed, but it will still be bounced back into your account. So you make changes to the account and it's being verified that yes, now it's a very it's a verified account for payment. So that's and I think it's it's similar as a uh, Oprah. Oprah, you just need uh, a, let's say a bank account for them. So once you get the bank account, they will just take the bank account, the name of the name of the account. The name of the account, the shift code, the bank name, the branch of the uh, the branch of which you do your savings, then they will process the money. So once they process it, they will just alert the processing has made for this maybe this quarter from this quarter to this quarter because you read the threshold. Once they process it, Charlie, you'll be there. And then if you subscribe to mobile alerts with your bank, you receive an alert. Then Charlie, the money is there. But one thing you have to also notice that. What you see at a dashboard might not be the same you receive because the dollar rate changes at least let's say daily and in our local in our in our very in our local uh, banks or financial institutions they have a, they have a rate at which they purchase the dollar so some may be buying the, the dollar at maybe 5.9 some may be buying the dollar at 5.6 5.4 5 so they normally give you the money based on how much they are buying the dollar and not based on how much is really on your account because once google process the money google has google has nothing to do with the money again it's not between your bank and your account so your bank will now say oh this money is coming from us i'm buying maybe uh let's say one dollar for maybe 5.4 but on google on google normally their, their, their converter is saying that, oh maybe a uh, dollar to CD. So, so maybe Google is saying that they are buying a one dollar, a, a, let's say one dollar for five point seven CDs. But somebody like somebody maybe like let's say access bank. Somebody like access bank. When you go to their website, it will give you a different, I mean, a different charge, and that is what they normally use. To buy the dollar, and sometimes they used to sell it. So, what you see there might be different. What you see there might be different from what you receive in your account. I'm trying to see the charges. The charges for. Oh, they, they 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 weren't able to give so i think my job online has something on the, the the dollar to cd rate on those some of the financial institutions so i think we can just 
can just check that on that then we'll have I have a fair idea about what okay so so usually this is the this is the, the the exchange rate so one dollar in Ghana series now is 5.75 Nara is three point nine. so if you are receiving money from us maybe your bank may give you something like seven 5.75 that is what your bank may give you or your bank may even give you lesser maybe something around like let's say 5.5 because they will determine whether they are selling it to you or they are not selling it to you so that's one thing but aside that if you have all your details correct at the end of the month you're supposed to receive the money with no restrictions so that's one thing about blogging and uh i'm very grateful and happy to share some of my experience by the grace of god that i've i mean acquired and some of the that you've also remembered me some of the dark days that uh, we if we passed through the, the the blogging ecosystem so we are still learning so in case you come in and things are not working for you you need to push harder that's the i think that's the only remedy i can have for now it's just that you have to push harder yeah because uh if you ask anybody, if the person will tell you that Charlie, I started from somewhere before I came. Yesterday, I was listening to the CEO of Zoom Lion, and he said when he started, he started importing, he started importing like goods from Holland, UK, US. Before he settled down to do business, actually, in, as in do, do do business. So it means everybody has a starting point. Mm, you can start earning one dollar, then maybe in the future, you start earning like hundred dollars. So that one is possible. And I'm sure website like Ghana where BBC, Majana, it's possible for them to earn more than hundred hundred dollars in a day. Because they have the traffic, they have the they have the audience, they have the people. And so uh let's let's be hopeful and patiently uh, pray that actually things really go in your best once you come. But uh, the frustration there if you come there, you meet a lot, but uh, it's part of the journey, you don't need to give up. Mm. Okay, okay. But I you'll be able to I've been being in the system. I think I'll leave it to Doc so that at least it's yeah, everybody we, we will answer a few questions that have come. So if you have any other questions, just put it in the comment section. The very first question that we have here is how much do you need to buy a host? Oh, okay. That's the very first so, question. Uh actually I did I did a test on some like getting a, a very cheap host the the i was telling you earlier that i don't want cheap stuff but the thing is getting a cheap host there are some cheap styles which i mean they are valuable so i came across this hosting company it's called speedy connect the other time i was talking to doc about it speedy connect yeah. I, i'm testing a website on it and it's it's working good at least you pay 65 cities for a whole year to host only one website you pay 200 at 200 200 let me share my screen you pay you pay somewhere around so you can pay somewhere around 200 cities to get three websites on their platform and their their platform is very is secured at least for the little time that i've been on their platform their platform is very very is very very secured and their hosting is very very good so this is their this is their system let me try login so that i can see so uh there's let me try ordering a service okay so this one is it's actually 60 cities yearly the next one is 180 cities yearly and you, you can host up to three websites you have free you have free excel that is a very good layer then they say 99.9 .9 uptime that one there is just uh 
some things they just said and say unlimited SSD web space, unlimited monthly bandwidth. So it is very good. At least I'm testing a particular website and it is doing very, very, very well. Aside that, there's also another platform called Ultra Host, of which I have a, an account with them also. Ultra Host uh, is my, let's see, is the genesis of my web, my digital everything because I started buying hosting from them when I started web design. So you go to their shared hosting, they are selling some as cheap as 15 cities. They are selling some as cheap as nine cities, what they call monthly. If you have nine cities monthly, you can also have five websites. And five websites, it shouldn't be like a traffic related website. If one traffic related, then you should consider paying 22 cities a month. That should be this package. That, that should be the ultra package. Then aside that, we also have another hosting, which is, which is called Toma Host. But for now, what I can recommend for you is what I what I can recommend for you now is Speedy Connect, Ultra Host, then Ovation Hall. Ovation Host is very very good. So that's some of the areas you can get, and they accept mobile money. So you just pay with mobile money. You don't need to think about paying it using a bank card or anything okay that's good to know all right then the next question is please can you do blogging while using a free domain <laughs> i would say first <laughs> okay. because the the reason is that if most of the free domain are just extensions and those kind of extensions doesn't make your website i mean credible so for instance, you can get a free domain like, let's say, uh, I create the GB. That GB, like the question should be, how many people on the internet are using that particular extension GB? So people will be like, oh, this thing be fake. It be fake website, Shonam. So it is good you go in for .com, .org, .net, .info, like .base, .a, is it like those like the accepted ones? At least you should settle for dot com dot org dot info. Those ones they are accepted. So at least try with fifty five cities. You can get domain. Let me share my screen. You can get domain from Stormer Host. You can get domain from Stormer Host with fifty. With just fifty five cities, you can get domain from Stormer Host. I would just fifty five cities. And with also the same 55, you can get domain from garanta.com. They also give domain. And these people, they just, you can just buy, you can just buy the domain with your mobile money account, 55 cities. So it's better you settle for a, the good than you continue with it because with the free ones, maybe that time you've made hits, then the company will be like, oh, we are selling to you at, let's say, hand a thousand dollars Charlie you don't have money to pay for a thousand dollars so you have to lose the domain so just settle for the the quality then the rest will follow so I don't think you should go for a free domain just purchase mm -hmm. the domain then you get your website on it that makes you a credible blogger okay okay good so you've actually answered the next question the person wanted to know how much it costs to buy a domain but you've answered that one so the okay. last and final question is uh, can you host a wordpress site on speedy connect <laughs> yes they, okay. they 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 actually have software clause uh, software clause is just like a software which gives access to these apps let's say like it's just basically like app store play store then they have whatsapp telegram and app on it so they, they have it they have it in their platform just that they just that they don't use c panel they have their own they've designed their own kind of c panel and i think that one is globally accepted because uh for some time we we're, we're hosting a website for gnsts and i realized that they bought the hosting from ipage i i think it's ipage or ip and iPage is one of the popular hosting networks on the internet. 
But these people, they're just using their own, they design their own hosting panel. They were using, using cPanel because cPanel mm -hmm. comes with a price of $15. I mean, a month. So it's very cost. It costs a lot. So you can host it there. And their platform seems to be very good. For now, the test that I've run looks like their platform is very, it's also secured. When you are trying to log in, they come with some security gaps and other stuff. So I think you can give it a try. If it doesn't, if you don't like it, you can go to Ultra Host or Ovation Hall. With Ovation Hall, then it means you have to pay more. I think a yearly package is around 300 cities. Plus, Spirit Connect is giving you like 65 cities. So that's okay. that's the, the whole thing about it. But guys, I'm really grateful. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity and everything. We are praying that in the next few years, Jesus Tarris will be among the top bloggers. You should also be among, I mean, the top bloggers if you want to come on board the next few years. Yes, trust God and let's pray that, Charlie. There's no competition. If you come first, maybe I come second, Charlie. There's no problem. We are just trying to educate people. We are just trying to make information available to people in a very convenient way. The, the only thing is that we want to give all the credible ones. Giving the false information will give you a lot of money, but it doesn't, it puts your your brand reputation in a very in a very bad manner. Got a, having the good information puts your brand in a very nice manner. There's no way you go to BBC and they write something like fake news. It, it like you can't find it anywhere. And so it's like BBC has built their niche. So mostly people when they want to confirm anything, they just say, Charlie, I'm going to BBC because BBC has built the platform for themselves. So you need to build up the brand. So once you have the brand, then you just start to push it. Thank you very much, Doc, for this opportunity. I'm very grateful oh, yeah. for it, the iCreate community for this. And I hope to, I mean, to come on board at a time to educate other people about some of these things because I feel like if we have to give back to society because mm -hmm. uh, we have the knowledge. Some people are also struggling. Some people are also struggling in knowledge. We have to just give the night. So it would be like a, an antidote to them to save them from some of their, their other stuff. Thank you exactly. very, very much. All right. So thank you too so much for everything. Thank you for honoring uh, this invitation to be here with us on Digital School. And thank you for all the worth of knowledge that you have shared with us today. We are so, so grateful. And to my audience out there, thank you so much for staying true to the end of today's session. This happens to be the third session of the digital school in the month of uh, uh, April, right? So next week as well, we are going to run another session. The very topic will be communicated on our various pages in the various groups as well. So on Facebook, the iCreate community, there is a link going scrolling down there if you want to join iCreate community. And when you are obed.com slash iCreate, that is a shortcut to get into the link. It will take you, it will redirect you to Facebook and ask you to join the Facebook group. Otherwise, if you're on Facebook, you can just search for create community and i create is i k r a t e so join that group and we'll share information there where you go to whatsapp to we have various groups on whatsapp digital school groups and i create community groups so you can join any of them and for every weekend we are going to run a session of digital school you can always join us every saturday from 7 p.m at ewaniaobe.com slash live. So the very link that you use to join this particular live session, you can always use it to join us every Saturday evening at 7 p.m. And thank you for staying here. Also, if you have any uh, things you want to learn, any digital skills that you want to learn, you can make suggestions in the various groups, in the various iCreate community groups, and we'll pick it up there and get experts to come and talk to that topic. Thank you all so much, Chris. Thank you so much. And we'll meet some other time. Thank you, audience. Till next week, for now, it's bye. Bye.